Hello and welcome to another video. This is the third in a series of videos I'm trying to shoot in a two hour time slot because time is very precious at the moment. And it's going to be quite a short one and I'm hoping to do it in with uh, one or two segments but be very quick. This is an Elf Tone cassette. I remember buying these from a very cheap shop called, we used to call it Cheap Jacks in a town where I lived in the 80s and they sold lots of stuff it was like um like an aladdin's cave of cheap tact basically but they did have some um some gems they would sell pens very cheaply they'd get i think they get overstock or or they get their supplies from somewhere it would be in there for a little while and they used to sell these and i think they were 30p or 35p I don't have the original inlay card for it uh, and I'm not going to show you what the topic of this cassette is because it relates to something from my uh, job I did in previously but these you used to be able to get these replacement inlay cards from WH Smiths I think it was WH Smiths they're really nice let me see if I can cover up the oh I already have for the post-it note so they were really good they're quite a thick card but they're replacements so I wish I had the original J card for this. So I used to pick these up really cheap from Cheap Jacks and I have noticed that this screw is protruding so maybe I've tried to take this apart before. Anyway this has got some content on now which I recorded in the 90s for a job I was doing back then and I've had a big sort out of some old stuff and I found them and when I got back into cassettes I wished I could have found find some of my Elf Tone cassettes because they were very cheap and money was really tight so this is what I used to use and on here is written in pencil not a good tape uh, Abbey Tapes is what's on there and it's number three so I must have had at least three of them and I was playing it on this Walkman went out for a walk got some headphones and I was listening to it on the Walkman and it played all the way through the first side and um, auto uh, reversed to the second side side B I think I'm not sure whether I got that far anyway today I got it and I didn't finish listening to it so I got it out of the um, Walkman and put it in my Pioneer shelf system and it wouldn't play it was just flicking backwards and forwards between the two sides and what you're supposed to do when you get an old cassette is wind it all the way to the end and then wind it all the way back again to free up the tape and when I tried to do that in my Pioneer system it was it would wind on a few clicks on the counter and then stop and wind on a few clicks. I thought I'm going to stretch the belts in my decent shelf system. And I got it out and it winds fine that way. But that way it's quite stiff. And in fact it was really stiff. It wasn't winding at all in that direction. And on one of my other videos I look at a J card for another type of manufacturer of tape. And it was an old one and it said if your tape is stuck give it a hard wrap on a book or something like that. And it must free up the tape on the mechanism. And it has in this case, that's what I did. Look, it's all loose. But I really want to get this tape. Oh, that's really free now. So if you've got a stuck tape, that will do it. But I want to, I, um, what I'm going to do is get this working to the point where I can get the recording off record it via um, a three and a half mil jack plug into uh, my computer and then record it in audacity to archive the recording on this but it has freed it up so i'm going to get um, a shoebox cassette player uh, that i don't really care about which i really only use for winding um, cassettes so i'm going to get that out and wind it all the way one to one end and one to the other end so the reason i don't want to do this on one of my decks i do actually have three decks of which I've got to get rid of two at least because um, I need the space but the reason I don't like using those is they've got decent quality belts in them whereas this one oh, it's got scratchy pots on it hang on I nearly threw this away actually I bought it from someone and got it working by I think replacing the belt with a cheap quality belt and uh, and now I just use it for winding, but I've got to keep an eye on it because it doesn't have an auto stop. So when it gets to the end of the tape, um, it just the motor keeps spinning uh, and pulling on the tape. Um, 
But anyway, I'll be back uh, when I think of something interesting to say or when this is finished playing. Yeah, so back in the, it must be early 80s, I guess. Um, I used to go down to this cheap jacks. I used to buy pads, you know, pad, you know, books to write in, pens I think I bought there. Really cheap. It was like knickknacks. You go in there like a, oh wow. That tape really got stuck there. Um, I was, uh, and I used to buy these tapes because they were cheap. And I'd rather have two cheap tapes than one expensive tape. And I wasn't playing them on, playing them on good equipment. But I knew they were bad tapes last time I used them because I wrote not a good tape. So there's, And I noticed there's some dropouts on it. But I wish I had these because these are very nostalgic for me. Because um, I, I remember where the shop is no longer there. Uh, the shop's there, but it's not no longer the same um, owner of the shop. And it... It does. Have, if you've got some Elf Tone tapes and you've got a J card, do a video for us and uh, link in the comments because I want to. I want to see what the J card looks like. I think it was the same ink, color ink, with Elf Tone written on the top, and I couldn't even remember whether it was actually Elf Tone. And what I think it might be is Elf is a petrol forecourt, or it used to be a petrol forecourt or a petrol. Um, Manufacture um, supplier, should I say? So I don't know whether they sold them in those. I remember in the seventies, motor racing. I think was sponsored by Elf. I don't know much about it. If I was a decent YouTuber like uh, Techmo, I'd have looked that up and done a proper documentary on it. Anyway, let's have a listen. See if this will play properly in this unit. I won't leave it on there long, and I might have to edit the sound out if it real if it's obviously identifiable as one of my past self-employment jobs. What you try and do is you say to them... Yeah, so it is working, but uh, <laughs> the funny thing is it worked in my Walkman. And then when I put it in a mains powered um, shelf, speak, uh, shelf system, or sort of midi sized system deck, it wouldn't play at all. Anyway, that's probably the end of this video. Just wanted to show you a bit of nostalgia from my past. These cheap and nasty. Oh, it's not even, the label's not even stuck on properly, is it? Elf tapes. So, I, for years since I got back into cassettes, I've been thinking, I wish I had one of these. And I found it in a filing cabinet in some off site storage. And there it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bit of a nothing video, but uh, hopefully you found it interesting.